What is going on everybody, Pro Sharky here today, and today we have this game of Hardpoint on the map, Hijacked. It is a public match, and I do pretty decent. I didn't do the best, but today we're going to be talking about COD XP and what happened today on the last day of it. And there was two games to be played, not two games in all, but three teams. Two teams play each other, and then the ne whoever wins that plays the next team. So it was Optic and Frico playing first because they were both in the lower bracket because Envious beats Frico, and I don't know who beat Optic. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways... It started at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Optic played Envy, and no, they didn't. They didn't start off too well in in this event, anyways, because they they did lose. And Envy won all their matches. They didn't lose a game. That's why they were in the final bracket, and they didn't have to play anybody else because they beat Fariko. So then Fariko had to play Optic, and whoever won that fucking played Envious in the grand finals and by now you guys know that Frico played envious so anyways going into the optic and Frico map like I said or I don't know if I said but optic was the fan favorite I think they had the most fans but it's I I'm pretty sure they did I was about to say it's hard to say but I'm pretty sure they did there's a lot of people that support optic they're a big team known team known for winning events not really too good on Xbox Live, but they're better at land. So, anyways, they played Fariko, and they did end up losing 3-1. to one. That was the map counts. And, you know, it was kind of disappointing because it was Nate shot on Express S&D, and it was a 2v1 situation versus Parasite from Fariko. And he did the impossible, and it was 5-5 five five on Search and Destroy, and... It was Big Timer and Nade shot. Big Timer went down. Parasite picked him up. Picked Big Timer up. And then he ended up picking Nade shot up too. So, you know, that's a tough situation. And they ended up, that was the last match. If they would have won that, it could have been a different story. It could have, you know, ended up in the Optic's hand. So that one move changed everything. And that's just crazy to think about. That one move could have costed them, like, what, $280,000? I mean, it's just, but, you know, they still walked out with money, and that's, that's, you know, not too shabby for third place, 120 Gs. So, anyways, going into Fariko versus Envy, and in my opinion, I kind of wanted Optic to win the whole event, but after I saw them get kicked out, or, you know, they lost, I wanted Envy to win, honestly. Because, you know, Frico won the last event. I wanted to see Envy pull this event off. So, they went to, it was best of 11. And they ended up breaking it even. And it came down to the last match. And it was on Search and Destroy. On, what the hell is that map called? Meltdown. Meltdown, Search and Destroy. And it goes to six rounds. And it came down 5-5. Five, five, and... It was Proofy. I don't know who the other one was. I don't know if it was Rambo. It might have been Rambo. I don't know. But I know Proofy was the last one. And it was in a 1v1 situation. And on on the plant side. I don't know what side they were on. But anyways, Proofy took some shots on the enemy. And I'm pretty sure it was Miracles. And, you know, Miracles played smart. And, you know, just... Tried to, like, spread it out so Proofy couldn't come at him. And he got a couple shots. Proofy did get a couple shots on him. And then he pushed back a little bit. And it ended up being in the hands of Miracles. He Proofy tried to defuse the bomb with nine seconds left. Obviously, that's the only move he could do. And, you know, it it didn't work out. And Envy lost that. And Frico got the $400,000. But they Envy did a great job in this event. You know, they pulled something that I didn't even think they could do when the like the COD XP even came up. I didn't think they would get that far. I don't think I didn't think they were gonna get second. But you know, they showed what they could do, and they came out with two hundred thousand dollars. So that's fifty thousand dollars a person, 
I mean, if you think about that, what the hell would you do with $50,000? That's just crazy. If you're playing a video game, and a shout-out to Treyarch for making it happen, and Activision, and all of those good people. Just a shout-out to them, because, you know, there was like 130,000 people on the stream at the last, you know, match of Search and Destroy, I recall, watching. It's a lot of people watching, and there was probably a lot of people there also. So add all that up, and there's a lot of people that are interested in competitive gaming, and it's grew so much over the last, you know, three, four years. I remember it in COD 4, there was, there was, like, lots of, com like, competitive between the teams that were there, but there was not that many teams. There was, like, five teams, I think, that were actually, like, the known competitive, and it's grew so much, you know, any team can come out of nowhere and take anything home, so... Every team has to practice, tw like, 24-7 as much as they can to, you know, keep winning these events and keep bringing home that paycheck, paying their bills or whatever they have to do or just, you know, racking shit up. But also, it was Saturday Saturday night, the last match, Optic vs. Complexity. I want to give a shout-out to Skump for going big, picking up a three-piece 5-5. Five -five it seems like Search and Destroy went 5-5 like all the fucking time. It went 5-5 and Skump pulled up a three-piece and, you know, they got the defuse in one. So, shout out to him for doing good. Really, a shout out to everybody. You know, Fear, Soar, Complexity, Envious, Farico, Optic, and all of the foreign teams. You know, I learned something new and that is basically any team can come from anywhere and be as good as you, if not better. So you got to practice 24-7, like I said, because any team can bring home that prize at the end of the day or at any tournament. So if you're trying to make a team, practice is the number one key, and try to do it as much as you can, and you'll succeed. And whatever your goals are, if your dreams are to do it, you know, do it. If you want to play Call of Duty competitively and try to win some money, do it. Don't let anybody say that you can't. Just practice, do whatever. And, you know, prove them wrong. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. It is coming to an end. And I don't know exactly what I go in this game. But I don't want to keep ranting on about COD XP because it's over by now. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. And me talking about COD XP. It's very, it was a very big thing. So, I wanted to talk about it. In my opinions. And give shout outs and whatnot. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Like I said before, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Follow me on Twitter. All that shit will be in the description. Once again, this is Pro Sharky. Remember, I upload daily, so come back tomorrow. Check me out. So, thank you guys for watching. Peace.